Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Raina and in today's Boxes and Deals, I have another advent calendar for 2022. And this one is brand new this year. This is by Upcircle Beauty. And Upcircle Beauty is a brand that is all clean, natural, cruelty-free, vegan, and they use upcycled ingredients for their beauty products. This is the first year that they've ever done an advent calendar. So I actually bought this back in September and when they first launched it and it didn't actually arrive until yesterday, which was November 28th. <laughs> it was supposed to, it said it was going to come early November, but it didn't arrive till the end of November. So unfortunately now when I'm showing it, it is already sold out. So I didn't get to show it when they still had it available, unfortunately, even though I ordered early. <laughs> but I did get a great deal. I got this for $99. I think the price did go up um, after the early release, but I bought it early, so I got it for $99. Our promised value overall is $220. And if you wanna see what's inside this box and the countdown for Christmas, please stay tuned. All right, so again, it's upcycled ingredients and I'm gonna use this because these kind, it is the punch kind, um, but we're gonna use that to open everything. This one, the clue is, I'm simply oat standing. I love that there's little clues inside. So I wonder if it's an oatmeal, maybe lotion, oat-based lotion. Um, really quick, I wanted to say, so the advent calendar is sold out, but I wanted to still show you, I think these are all brand new products. So exclusive to the advent calendar at this time. And based on reviews of these products, they'll decide which of these items they will make available for 2023 in their shop. But based on these items, you can get an idea of what kind of products they sell, and they are having some sales currently. Right now it's up to 40%, but I don't know how long that will go for. But they do have some you know, holiday sales. So I also just wanted to show you what kind of products they do have in case these are um, of interest to you. And they're tightly snug in there as well. So if there are, is any glass, I think they're well protected. All right. So number one, we get face cleanser with upcycled oat powder and aloe vera plus hoba oil and shea butter to soothe and nourish skin. So the upcycled ingredient is the oat powder. Face cleanser, I was not, I was wrong on that one. And it is a glass bottle. Okay, I thought so. They don't use plastic containers, so it's either glass or metal or cardboard. So it's a cl face cleanser. I'm going to take a little sniff. It doesn't really have much fragrance, maybe a little bit of an essential oil fragrance, if anything. And the ingredients are not on the bottle, but it is on here. Neroli, okay, I can kind of get a hint of that. Geranium, pedigrin, that's what I was kind of thinking. Some kind of floral type of essential oils, if anything, but it's really light. I like it. We've upcycled oat powder to repair and preserve the skin's moisture barrier. All right, number two. The hint is hands down the best. So maybe a hand cream. This definitely makes it a lot easier to open, especially if you start where the little notches are. Hand cream with upcycled hibiscus flowers. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Plus shea butter and marshmallow root to protect and nourish. So we've upcycled hibiscus flower acids from the fruit from the food supplement industry to protect the skin and stimulate cell, cell renewal. 
So it looks like that, um, which means it probably is has the metal seal without the little um, puncture thing. Let me see. Oh, it's open and it is coming out. So I guess we are going to try that one out. <laughs> oh, I was going to say when I first opened the box, the whole, you know, outer packaging, the mailer. So my skin is very dry and this is a very thick cream. So let's see how quickly it'll absorb. But that's a good winter cream or night cream, especially if you have dry skin, which I do. But yes, when I opened the box, just a whole scent of all natural kind of herbal plant based kind of floral scents came right out of the box. So if you like more natural scented things like that, that's what it all smells like. So yes, that absorbed well and you can see that it is still a heavy cream. It doesn't feel greasy, like it doesn't feel tacky or anything, but it is a heavier cream. So it's not like, it doesn't feel water-based like where it absorbs and disappears, but it feels more like it will deeply moisturize. Oh, that has a nice citrus scent to it too. I can kind of smell the hibiscus, almost like a hibiscus tea, but I smell some lemon in there as well. Number three, the clue is you'll oil, oh, your oil I need. <laughs> so maybe a face oil. Oh, a body oil with upcycled passion fruit oil plus tangerine and kumquat oil to invigorate and energize. We've upcycled passion fruit oil from the Peruvian food industry to repair and soothe skin. So that's the body oil. Again, a glass bottle. I can barely smell it, but it does smell a little fruity. Day four, use me under the mistletoe. Hmm, lip balm for kissing. Okay, it's missing. <laughs> did it slide into number two? It did not. So it must have slid into another section. So we'll come back to number four. Number five, hairy tail romance. So something for the hair, maybe a hair conditioner. Shampoo. So this is with upcycled pink berry extract plus coconut oil and grapefruit oil to cleanse and protect. We've upcycled leftover pink berries from the fragrance industry to soothe the scalp and strengthen the hair. I love reading the stories on each of these. So it's a little jar of shampoo. It's like a thick cream. It kind of smells minty. Yum. So that'll be refreshing on the scalp. Let me see the texture. Yeah, so it's like a thick cream. That's interesting, I like it. It smells really good. I'll be sure to include photos of each item so that um, you can read the ingredients if you're interested. I'll do that at the end. Number six, Shaw Renites. So a gua sha, maybe? instead of starry nights. Yes, a gua sha to relieve tension and reduce puffiness. Plus, used to promote blood circulation, improve fine lines, and help you relax. About the gua sha, it aids lymphatic drainage to, re re <laughs> to reduce puffiness, boosts circulation for a healthy, bright glow, relieves tension and promotes blood circulation, improve fine lines and wrinkles. This will be my first one I've ever received. Ooh, that's heavy too. That's nice. I love that it comes in a little velvety bag. And that is gorgeous. I'm afraid to put my fingerprints on it. So it's silver on both sides. I don't know if I like that because look at all the fingerprints. But 
yeah, that's because I have the lotion on my hands and hopefully it'll be easy to clean. But it is gorgeous and it's heavy and that it's a cold so that'll feel nice and great for inflammation. You can put that along your jawline, your cheeks. Day seven, let there be light. Hmm, maybe a brightening cream? Oh, <laughs> a candle. Of course. I was thinking beauty, so I was trying to think what beauty. Oh, this box kind of came apart. But the candle is all good. And this is a floral candle with upcycled rose petals plus rapeseed and go coconut wax to indulge and relax. We've upcycled discarded rose petals from the flower industry to create a luxurious and calming candle to relax and unwind. It is a four ounce candle. It smells like dried petals and it does have the floral at the bottom. That'll be pretty for a bathroom, maybe even a bedroom for relaxing. Good for the soul. So a foot cream for number eight, perhaps? Hand and foot scrub. Close, but not quite. I'm not getting, I think the hand cream so far is the only one that I got spot on. <laughs> this is a hand and foot scrub with upcycled coffee grounds and chai spices. That sounds amazing. Plus shea butter and coconut to soften and nourish. We have upcycled coffee grounds from artisan cafes because they're perfect for polishing your skin. This is gonna smell amazing. A nice glass jar, I love these. Oh, yum, that smells so good. Definitely coffee. So there's a little texture for you. has a little bit of oil to it. It's almost like a, a dough, like a cookie dough or something. So it won't be as messy as like a lot of the coffee scrubs that just fall all over the place and make a mess. Mm, that smells good though. Wipe that off. Number nine, break out the bubbly. Bubble bath? A travel tin to carry soap, shampoo, or conditioner bars on your travels. Plus, made from aluminum to stay rust free. So, it has the up circle. And, oh, it's layered. So, it can drain the extra water without dissolving the soap. That's awesome. Number 10, seize the clay. So a clay mask, I'm guessing a face mask. Yay, we got a two out of 10 right. <laughs> face mask with upcycled charcoal powder, plus coconut and turmeric to clear pores and feel radiant. We've upcycled charcoal powder to draw, to draw out toxins and purify the skin. I love the colors they use, the pastel, greens, peaches, blue, on their containers as well as their boxes. Love it. Ooh, that smells very herbal, almost a little bit green. All right, number 11, Home Sweet Home. I wonder if it's a room spray since it's kind of long. Yes! We got three right. A home mist with lemongrass and upcycled grapefruit water, plus eucalyptus and lavender, lavender to deeply calm and soothe. We've upcycled grapefruit water from the juicing industry to uplift the senses. Hopefully, it smells more like grapefruit than any of the other. I mean, I don't mind eucalyptus when it's blended well. Lemongrass is a good blend. I don't really care for it by itself, but I like it with other things. 
Same with lavender. I love the smell of fresh lavender flowers, but lavender oil, it's a hit and miss depending on what it's blended with. It's a little bottle, it's a one ounce. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it to see what I think. It does smell like a blend of essential oils, but I do pick up the citrus in there. That's pretty nice. All right, the last one. So this was a 12 day. Soak in the festivities. Maybe a bath salt. Let's see, this is coming out over here. <laughs> yes, we got another one right. Bath salts with Epsom, sea, and him, sea salt, and Himalayan pink salt. So three different salts, plus lavender and geranium to relax and heal. We've upcycled rose petals from florists to soothe your skin and help you relax. So it's bath salts with rose petals. Ooh, and it's in a pretty little velvet bag again. Very giftable. So it comes in a baggie. It's not a plastic bag. It's kind of a compost, compostable, yeah, compostable bag. But it is sealed. But once you, I think this might be enough for one bath. You could probably split it into two baths and just close it up good. Ooh, I can smell it through this and it smells citrusy and with some rose. It does smell like dried roses and some citrus. I don't smell the lavender much, which I kind of appreciate admittedly. Because again, I don't really care so much for lavender essential oil unless it's lightly blended into the mix. I use it a lot, I will say that, because it's great for everything. But, all right, let's see if we can find our missing item. Here we go. It looks bigger than a lip balm, but it is a lip balm. <laughs> it is a lip balm with upcycled hemp seed oil and shea butter, plus rose hip and grapefruit oil to soften and nourish. We have upcycled hemp seed oil to nourish and hydrate dry lips. I'm excited to try this and it's probably in one of those little jars. Yes, it is. I love these little jars. And these are reusable. Once you empty them, you can reuse them. All of these, I think with the exception of the hand cream, all the other containers are reusable. That smells kind of herbal and green. I know I already said that before with another item. But this one, I'm going to try some on my lips right now. I don't have a little spatula in here with me at the moment, but my hands are clean. It's very silky, very herbal, like I'm eating fresh greens. <laughs> All right, so let's do a recap in no particular order. We received a candle, a face cleanser, a body oil, a home mist, shampoo, hand and foot scrub, hand cream, lip balm, face mask, a soap tin, a gua sha tool, and some bath salts. I'm going to go ahead and show you the photos of the ingredients. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Also, if you're interested in any of my other advent calendars and seeing what all I've opened this year for 2022, you can search hashtag boxes and deals advents 2022. I'll put that in the description as well. And the same as on my Instagram, you can do the same hashtag boxes and deals advents 2022. And those photos should pop up as well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.